So it's been a while since I want to update this video series and finally I am here again. So we want to create a shader for train. From here let me divide the textures for our train in two parts. Part one are the texture which are visible to player like dirt texture or grass texture. Normally we cannot create a huge texture for entire train so we have to repeat these two textures that you can see on train. So I recommend to select a texture which repeat good and it does not contain any significant sign that shows it's got repeated for example if i put on this texture a rock then this rock will repeat everywhere i repeat this texture and it looks unnatural now part two is the textures which are not visible and they do not repeat on train instead they cover the entire train but they are really important and they do many different things. For example, height map is one of them. Each point on our train has a specific height value and we cannot repeat the height map texture. So we have to create a big height map texture for the entire train. I can also mention things like splat map, which determine where we should put our visible texture. This list continue with many other things. For example, you can send a texture to the shader which control the wetness on the map. Now, as this kind of textures should cover the entire train, this kind of textures are huge and it take a lot of space in GPU memory. What I did, I split this texture into different region. Each region has a different material and it has a different piece of that huge image. This will help a lot for GPU memory optimization. Now we have these two kind of texture. Let's see how we can add each one of them. After downloading and activating mTrain plugin, just add mTrain node to your 3D scene. In the material section, add a shader material and for the shader code, just load the start GT shader code, which is located inside add-on folder. Set your desired train size and click on create train. I just sculpt something on this train so this train will not be so empty. One thing that I want to mention here is this. This material that you can see here is just a blueprint for each material in each region. So this material will be copied into each region. So here we have different material for each region of our train. And if you know, here I did a bad thing. I mean normally for performance of your game, you should use less material possible in the game. But here, instead of one shader material for entire train, I duplicate that. And now we have for each region a different material. But I did this for a great reason and that was to reduce the height map resolution in regions far away and that is the only way to do that. And after testing that and seeing that this is working, so I told to myself, why not? What I want to say here is that for now we just copy and paste this material with the same uniforms and same shader code to all regions. But in future, I don't want to just copy and paste this material, but also add the feature to be able to change this material's uniform and shader code in each regions. This will give us the ability to make train different in each region. Maybe just by changing one uniform, you can change the train from a green land to a desert land. I did not come to conclusion how to do this, but as I get more free time, I will start to work on this. So in future, maybe this section will change, but the concept for train shader remains same as before. And this means this video series remain valid all time. Now let's open our shader code and see what we got. Here we have some uniform, which each shader code for train should have. Basically each region sets some of uniform related to itself into this uniform. I explained about this uniform in wiki page, so I really recommend to read the wiki. I put the link of the wiki down in the video description. What is important here is these things, region UV and word position, which I explained about both of them. So normally when you want to put a texture on something, you use UV map. 
UV is good in many situations, but not here. The reason that we cannot use UV to put texture on train is that we generate mesh train on runtime. So UV coordinate is not so much useful to us. Here in train, we use word position to put texture on train. Let's see how we can do it. So I add albedo texture uniform and I simply sample that with my word position in X and Z plane, which is basically the ground plane. And as this material got copied and pasted to each region, it's not affected as you change things here. So you should restart the train to this take effect. This will hopefully will correct it in the future version of the M train. So here I can see my texture on train. I can do the same thing to sample normal map texture. You can see up here I also multiply my word position to some number to control the scale of the texture on my tray. But still we have some problem. You can see the texture is tiling. About texture tiling there are many ways to solve this problem and we think about this in future videos. So we saw how to sample from our tray. But if you remember from the beginning, we have also some kind of texture which cover the entire train. And I told you we divide that texture into multiple parts for each region. So how to sample from that texture? That texture is different and we sample that with region UV. If I set region UV to albedo, you can see here we have four region and the UV for each region in top left corner of each region is zero and in bottom right corner is one. And this is exactly what we want to use for sampling the texture like height map and normal map which is divided for each region. If I open my data folder, you can see here we have four height map data. Each of these height map data is for one of these regions. For example, height map X0, Y0 is for this region up here. Now, if I raise this section and save that, you can see the height map texture in the corner is changing too. From now, you learn how to sample different texture into the train shader. And basically from now, if you know the shader algorithm, you can write a good train shader. You can use even the tutorial from Unreal Engine or Unity. The concept is the same among all of these engines. But in future, we are going to discuss more about train shader because there are a lot more about this thing. And till the next video, have a good time.